get the latest in Cardinal sports, Benny Rogers brings you the latest in scores and standings throughout the region. Cardinal Weekly starts now. Welcome to another edition of Cardinal Weekly presented by the Cardinal Sports Network. I'm Benny Rogers, the sports information officer for college. It's on to the regional tournament for a fourth straight year for the Lady Cardinal softball team, and that's where we'll start this week. But Daphne Johnson's squad closed a regular season at home to you with a doubleheader sweep of Kilgore, winning 8-6 and 8-0. The two wins gave the Lady Cardinals a 28-14 season record and a final conference mark of 12-8. The Lady Cardinals won their last three games in four of the last six. Next up for the Lady Cardinals is the regional tournament May 1st through 4th in Lufkin. The two teams reaching the championship game of the tournament will advance to the national tournament in St. George, Utah in mid-May. Last year, the Lady Cardinals won their first three games of the regional tournament in Corsicana to advance to the title game and earn the college's first ever national tournament berth. Congratulations to the Cardinal cheerleaders for a national runner-up finish in Daytona, Florida last week. We are very proud of the cheerleaders. They are great ambassadors for the college and support all our teams both at home and on the road. Congratulations are also in order for Lady Cardinal Head Basketball Coach Elena Lovato. She has been named the NJCAA Coach of the Year, a well-deserved honor. Also, a Duke Bulgak was named NJCAA Player of the Year to go along with the same honor from the WBCA a week ago. Speaking of Lady Cardinal Basketball, we celebrated national title number eight Tuesday night at Cardinal Gym. Here are some sights and sounds from the event. Shalante Allen. Rodrika Patton. Obviously, Coach Lovato and, and the team, what an unbelievable year. Uh, you guys uh, do nothing short of amazing. Honestly, Elena, it's just, we were talking earlier with, with Judge. I, I don't think there's any way in the world anybody, is there a precedent where your first two years you've won national titles in the, at any sport at any level? It really is. Um, when I hear the term era, um, a lot of things come to my mind, but one individual especially, uh, and that's uh, John Wooden. From, from 1964 to 1975, John Wooden at UCLA won 10 national championships. And he won seven in a row. So you have a few more left, uh, Coach, before you, know, you, before you tie uh, Coach Wooden. That's actually my way of getting her to stick around for a few more years, all right? But uh, from the Board of Trustees, myself, congratulations for a fantastic job. Uh, whether you'd have been named uh, the Spalding Coach of the Year or not, I knew you were. Uh, when I go up to Salina and see, when I go up to Salina and see the coaches that coach, I know who the best one is. I see her when she's uh, drawing up plays, when she's coaching on the floor, when she's leading her team. I know who the best coach is. Uh, but uh, and we're awfully glad to have you here and proud that you uh, are recognized nationally for your achievements. And Our guardian angels, the Lady Cardinal Foster parents, you know who you are. My ladies appreciate you dearly. You're a huge part in their life, and it's because of you and this program that this tra this thick tradition runs deep here. Uh, you're the beginning. You're the end. You're with pioneers like Joe Curl and Kurt Bucky who started the program and may their souls rest in peace and their spirit continue to surround us. Your involvement and your support is the lifeline to our success. So we appreciate you guys dearly. Thank you. What a special night it was. That's gonna wrap it up for this edition of Cardinal Weekly. For the Cardinal Sports Network, this is Benny Rogers reporting.